fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today with an unboxing of sort of some various things. So these are all kind of my latest tool purchases that I wanted to share with you and so I'm going to open them and you'll get my first impressions and then we'll do some testing them out. So the first thing, because it's the smallest and I already took it out of the package, that I want to share is that I bought the Diamond Art Club three tip or three drill placer. This was one of the things that I was annoyed about that was taking forever. I ordered it on July 30th or 31st and it just kept saying it was sitting there, it was sitting there, it was sitting there. I didn't check the tracking until it finally arrived and then, so I have no idea when the tracking got updated, but anyway. So I wanted to try this out. This is the three placer and it looks so teeny tiny compared to everything else. I'm really curious how it's gonna work. So I have a pen that I've brought in and I'm gonna fill it with my putty and we'll see how things go. I'm still on their notification list for the six placer, but since I could get the three placer, I went ahead and ordered it and I'm gonna test it out and see how I like it. I, I still, it looks a little, the construction is a little weird to me this actual barrel here is bigger than I remember it being, but it just seems flimsy. Like for me, I feel like I'm going to break it. Now, granted, it is a steel tip, so that shouldn't be possible, but <laughs> I've had stranger things happen. So I'll stick a link to that down below. No idea if it's still in stock or not. If it's not, you can put yourself on the notification list like I did for the six placer. I was hoping to get both of them at the same time. That didn't happen. That was, I think, $14.99. And then I used points to not have to pay for shipping because it seemed kind of ridiculous to pay $15 for a tip and then another $10, $11 just for shipping on top of it. If you can combine it with other things, that's probably easier. So then the second thing that I ordered is from Firefly Diamond Art. And I saw, I want to say somebody on Instagram, and I don't remember who, somebody on Instagram had a tray of theirs and was really raving about them. And so I thought, well, I'm going to go check it out. And I got two different trays from them. And the trays that I had seen were actually not the ones that I ended up ordering. So we'll see what happens. I got two different trays. Oh, one is bigger than the other. So one is just a regular tray, which I'm going to assume is this one. And then one is an XL, which I'm going to assume is the larger one. So let's see what we get in our little goodie bags here. A little blow pop kind of thing. Strawberry candy. Ooh, some washi tape, some glitter washi tape. And then we get some cute little stickers and then their Firefly, fireflyda.com. I think they started out as an Etsy shop, but they have their own website now. Uh, yeah, and if I like them, well, I got a 10% off coupon. So if I like them, let's see how it works. I got both of my trays in white because I'm old. My eyes don't work as well as I want them to. I see the drills better. If I have a really dark drill tray and then like a dark purple or something or like a dark blue, and then I have dark colored drills, I have trouble seeing them. I don't usually work with a light pad, so yeah, just is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna assume this one is called the Element Diamond Art Tray and I got it in white. One of these, I think this one was like $22, including shipping, and then, this one ended up being like $28, including shipping. I should have written down the actual totals, but I forgot. I thought they'd be on the little packing slip that's in there, but I don't see the prices on it. So, oh, so yeah, this is the element tray and it's got this cool little, it's supposed to slide so that you can open and close it to, to do your drills. Now, let's see, this piece comes out for what, I'm not sure. Sounds like these pieces come out. Ah, poke them through the bottom here, where we go. Oh, maybe this is the one. Okay, so you can put your pen here to hold it. 
I'm assuming this is like a little trash drill tray with the hole in the bottom so you can poke it up when you want to. And then this is, although it doesn't seem to be moving. Do I pull, oh, I pull it out, duh. That's why I'm trying to push it in. That's as far as it goes. You pull it out and the little guide there slides out of the way so that you can pour your drills out. And I have drills, I'm gonna test all this in just a minute. So here's the other reason that I got this one. It comes with a lid. And I gotta say, for 3D printed, this is pretty good quality. You can see, when I pull this out, you can see there's some filament in there that I would probably clean out. It doesn't affect how the tray functions, but I would just clean it out myself. But this actually slides a lot nicer than I would have thought. So curious how they get that in there, because I'm pretty sure that's not 3D printed. I don't wanna pull it too hard, because I don't wanna pull it out. There's a rough edge right there that I might have sand it off as well and there's a couple of pieces of filament kind of stuck in there but again nothing that affects functionality and then we get our little separate little trash tray here that goes in there like that and then in addition to the lid oh i forgot to show you it says firefly here on the back and it says element on the bottom and it's pretty thick and nice i gotta admit i can't you know, usually when stuff is 3D printed, you can see the layer lines. They've printed it at a pretty good layer height. I can see a couple of lines here on the edges at the, like maybe where the bottom was printed and then it started going up and maybe one here at the top. But other than that, they've done a really nice job of kind of smoothing everything out. So that looks good. Okay, this is the reason I bought it because it came with these three little inserts. So you can just turn them over and use them as blank if you just want to use this, you know, no lines, no grids, no nothing, if you just wanted to use it that way. So that's one option. Then you can put this in and it just has the regular lines like you would get on any other diamond painting tray and you can use it to do your, you know, multi-placing, single placing, whatever you want to do. It's like a standard tray. It comes with this one, which is a complete one by one grid. Again, blank on this side, but a one by one grid that you can put in here if you would prefer to use and do for like people who do all single placing. And this actually, this grid system makes it easy to sort your drills because once they kind of fall in here, it gets easier to see which drills are slightly larger because they won't settle in or slightly too small because they're kind of banging around in here or you know misshapen or whatever when you're using something like this. Looks like there's a little piece of speck of something stuck in there. Okay, might be something in the printing because I can't seem to get it off there. And then it comes with this third one which is kind of a half and half grid. So you get these single ones off to the side here and then you get these, what look like four or five placer. Actually, it goes from, looks like that's maybe two, two, to three, to four, five, six, and then gets they get larger as you go. So kind of a, a graded from two to maybe nine or 10 here. I'll have to check it with my tips. And again, flat on this side. So really curious now the thing to remember is if you have all three of these in here of course the sides are very tall which i like but if you have all three of these in here you're going to get rid a lot of a lot of that height i'm going to try it both ways but i'm going to guess for me personally what i will probably end up doing is i will pick one of these to use it probably will not be this one because i just don't i always multi-place some even if it's not a very, it's a confetti heavy canvas, I don't multi, I don't single place everything. So I'm kind of curious to see how this one will work out with all of the different sizes. So I'll probably do that, but I'll probably take the other two out and just leave one in there. So I've got that nice deep well, but I'm gonna try it both ways. So this one I thought was really fascinating that it came with all of these different ones. I did not realize that it came with the little trash thing. So super cool. And this one was only, like I said, $22 when you figured in shipping. So I think it was like 15, 17, somewhere in there. I'll look up the prices and I will put them on the screen or something. Cause I don't remember exactly how much they were. And I, like I said, I thought they'd be on the 
little packing sheet and they're not. And then this one is the other one. This one, this one is called their Ignite XL tray. And I wanted to try something that was a little bit larger. I often do some canvases and I've got some coming up that are pretty big. And so I wanted to try out their big tray and see. So it also has a lid. Now this one is a little bit different. Everything is all in one. So I do have a little place for trash drills, but it doesn't pop out like it did on the other one. It is just the line you can see but the uh, inside, the walls are nice and deep. The, the lid, I like the handle on the lid. It's a, a nice sturdy handle so that you can pull it back. It slides in there nice and easy. And then again, we've got our pour spout with our little handle here. Again, some little filament pieces that don't affect function. That slides way easier now that I got rid of that little piece. Interesting. There's also a little piece in here on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that where the pour spout is. There's like a, a little piece of filament stuck in there. I'll likely get rid of that just because drills will get hung up on it. I'll get out our little files and get rid of it. But other than that, yeah, again, really nicely done. Kind of hard to see the layer lines. It says Firefly here on the back and then it says Ignite XL. I actually really like that they do that so you remember which one it is because I order from so many places that having to go back through all my records and figure out, okay, which one did I like? Which size did I want? And this seems like a really good, nice, hefty size. Now it's bigger than this one, but I think that'll be nice for multi-placing. But I really like the quality of these. So yeah, I can't wait to try these out and see how these work. Okay. So there's those two. And then the last thing that I ordered was again, something that I saw, I saw it on Instagram and somebody also recommended it to me. I use my Elizabeth Ward trays all the time for most of my kits. Any of my bigger kits, if I'm doing, you know, like Gamer Girl or any of my Diamond Art Clubs, then I'm probably using my Elizabeth Ward trays because I have so many colors, those are the kits, the, the storage that I have for them. I've gotten rid of all of my, I could use a 60 bottle case, I guess, but I typically end up using my Elizabeth Ward. This is a funnel. I contacted her, I think via Instagram through Facebook. Oh look, it's a little witch's hat 3D printed, that's cute. And asked her for this funnel. Somebody had told me that they were really good for Elizabeth Ward. So got everything set up, got her paid. I asked, she has a ton of different colors of filament. I asked for like a rainbow color. The thing to know when you guys are ordering rainbow colors is that the filament rolls are huge. So yes, it prints in rainbow colors, but when they're printing kind of small items, even these are considered kind of small, you don't get a lot of color variation. So I thought it was gonna be rainbow. What it ended up being, you can sort of see, I can see where it's gone from like a darker kind of peachy here, color here to more of a pinky mauve color. And it's actually quite a bit larger than I thought it was. So this is a funnel to help you get things in your Elizabeth Ward containers. So you open the container and then you kind of slide this in under the lid and then you can pour your drills into this big funnel so that they don't spill everywhere. You know, like I do in almost all of my kit ups. The funnel itself is $12. There are PayPal fees because that's how sh she takes payment. And then it was another $6 in shipping. So $18.75 for this. However, I should only need the one. I mean, I'm not going to be kidding up other things at the same time. And it's just me. She has other products for sale, but this was the one that I wanted to try out. And I will be sticking links down below to all of these things. Diamond Art Club you guys could figure out, but I'll stick a link down there to both of these diamond painting trays from Firefly and also to, I think it's her Facebook where I ordered this, or I'll find her Instagram or something. I'll find wherever I went to get it so that I can send it. You guys have a link to it. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now to try all these out, I'm going to go grab my Gamer Girl because I'm still working on it. And I'm gonna try all these out. Now, my Gamer Girl has already been kitted up, so I'm not really gonna be kitting anything up necessarily, but I am gonna be dumping some drills out into one of these trays, and then we'll see how easy it is to pour back into the container using this. So let me clean up all of this a bit, 
and I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so for my diamond painting tip from Diamond Art Club, I've got a pen here. I have this single placer tip on it, but there's no glue dot or wax or anything in that. I'm just gonna put in the single placer or the three placer tip. Ooh, which is, does not stay. All right, let me try this in a different pin. All right, I just grabbed another pin out of my stash and it fits in pretty well. It still has a little bit of a wiggle, but I'm not gonna keep it in this pen, so I don't wanna like go to the trouble of washi taping it into place and all of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this up with my putty. So I'm just gonna pull off some of my museum putty here what I do to load it is I roll it into like a snake and then I just push it down in with my thumb and then I pull off the excess. Now this is going to run over the top of the tip. That's okay. I usually go over it one more time with my thumb to kind of pull it, pull off any extra excess. And then I just make sure that everything is all kind of tucked into the tip and not flowing over the sides. Flatten it with my hand. My extra putty will go back in my pile of putty. And now I'm ready to go. It's a little wobbly, but not terrible. So should be enough for our purposes. Okay, so first I wanna test out one of our trays. Now this one, I'm just, this is the extra large. I'm just going to test it out and see how well it works with the spout here because this is just regular diamond painting lines and I can't imagine that it's going to be difficult. They line up in there really nicely. This is a round kit. So got them lined in there pretty good. Then because I have this closed, I could put the lid back on, but I'm just gonna do it this way. I'm gonna tap everything down to the bottom and then let's see how this works. So we're gonna pour these back in here. Ooh, you know what? But I wanted to test, let me grab the funnel. So here's my little funnel. It has these two little clips down here on the bottom that help it stay in place. Hmm, maybe I should do this with a container that isn't full of drills before I spill them. So you can see it's got the little things there that kind of slide on and that just helps it kind of sit where it's supposed to go. I guess I could take the entire lid off, but I don't usually do that. So all I'm gonna do is kind of hold it in place with my hand like this. And then I'm just going to open the slot here and let them slide in. So all those drills came out really nicely. Ooh, that slid back in on its own. I didn't even have to close it. and. All of my drills are back in there without spilling. So you can see how nicely it works. I think it's supposed to just sit there on its own. I'm trying to see if there's like a little trick to this. So let me try this now to get all these back in this one and hold it and just dump them in here. Hmm, I wonder why these drills are a little staticky. That's actually okay though, because that's the thing that I wanted to see was if you know something is a little staticky, it's got this nice big wide mouth and you get everything that goes where it's supposed to without falling. So this works. It's a little fussy, but I don't, I think most people probably would take the lid off because then, aha, I didn't have it in there far enough. See you guys, those are supposed to go on the inside. Now I don't have to hold it. So the little tabs here, these little two pieces, you need to make sure they're on the inside. So that needs to go directly under the lid. I don't have to take the lid off. It will sit there on its own. Then I can just pour drills and nothing moves. All right, let me try this again with this one. I just wasn't putting it in there far enough. There we go. You can hear it kind of seat into place. And then just pour your drills. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to make sure that, that I try this the next time that I do a kit up because yeah, that'll make it so I don't spill anything. Okay, so there's the funnel. 
and we tried that tray. Now let me try this one. So I'm gonna try this one, but I'm gonna try this one with, I'm not gonna try it with the plain lined one because we just saw how that one worked with the other one. I am gonna try it with both of these though. So let me pour some drills in here. So you just kind of shake it around and you can see how they kind of all fall into place. <laughs> I've got one that's a, a wrong color in there. So let me fish that one out. And so you can see how they just kind of seed into place there. And then you can just one by one place them. And then you've got your little trash drills here. I don't know what that's gonna be. I think what I would probably do is I would take this out and set it aside because when you go dump all your drills, it's just gonna dump everywhere. I guess if you put the lid back on before you dump your drills, then that might work. So like your trash drills are in there, you put the lid back on. That's the other thing about this handle, that way you know which way is up. It's because sometimes I have trouble finding that on the Bella trays, which way is supposed to be up. Okay, so that's gonna sit there and then I'm going to pat this so they all go to the bottom. And then I'm going to open my little slide. Did I get them all? Close my slide, open it up, all the drills are gone. Okay, so now let's see how this third insert works with the kind of randomly spaced multi-placer things and we'll see what size they actually are and they fit down in there snug so you're not it doesn't look like you're going to lose any drills underneath one of these so let's see how many am i getting in here one two three four five six seven so eight it looks like one two three four five six seven that looks like it could do nine so yeah there's two here two here threes that one's got five five that one could do six, it looks like, six or seven. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't know if it would do seven, but anyway, you've got uh, options of choices depending on what size multi-placer you're using. So that looks pretty cool. Our other tray worked well, our funnel works well. This tray is working well. Let's see how well this tip works for me. So again, I've just got my putty in there. I've got three drills. So I'm gonna pick up, it's a three placer. I'm gonna pick up my three drills here. That picks them up nice and well. And of course I've picked a color, oh look, I can place three right here. Oh wow, that placed them really well. Okay, let me, let me take this one off because this color is of course not one that I need multiples of. All right, which is, let me grab, let me grab the threes here and I will place some of those because I've got enough space that I can do that. And then I will be right back. Okay, so now I've got my number three drills in here. I've got my three placer. I'm going to go in at an angle to pick up all three of the drills so I can see where they need to go and then place them at an angle like that. That's not quite straight, there we go. All right, let me try that again. Picks them up really nicely, I will give it that. First impressions, like it. Definitely need to kind of work with it because I feel like the tip itself feels longer, like my hand is further away, the pin is further away. Not the tip, but the pin itself is further away. Like, is this longer? No, it doesn't really look like it, but it feels a bit odd. So I'm gonna use it for a little bit and report back, but, I gotta say, I actually like this tray a lot. I like how it feels in my hand and I'm liking this tip and how nicely it picks up these drills so that I can place them where they need to go. And of course, you don't just have to pick up two or three tray drills with it. You can just pick up two and still place them where they need to go. Yeah, my, my first impression is pretty good. I really would like to try the six placer. That, I wish they had a four placer. I don't know why 369 seems to be the default. I really like a four placer and I feel like a four placer is more useful because you can do three drills with the four placer, but often four is seems like I run into that more often than just three. Or 
if you need to place more than three or four, it's more often a number that's divided by four. Does that make sense? So there you go, guys. There is my test of the Firefly drill trays. I actually am going to go back and see what these run because like I, I want to say this one was only like, I don't know, 15, 18 dollars or something. So it ended up be 22 something with shipping. And I got the extra large one, but I actually prefer this one. I think having all the various different sizes and shapes will be cool. And so excited now that I figured out how this works to have this where I'm going to be able to, I just got to get the, the lid far enough open so I can get it to set in there. Now that's going to set really nicely. And then I can use my new tray to dump everything. Make sure it gets down to the bottom, open it. Everything went in there. This is empty. And I take this off. I didn't spill anything. So yeah, pretty stoked about all of these actually. I really like how this one works. Can't wait to try a kit up with this. Can't wait to actually do some diamond painting with this tray and this tip. And there's just a really nice weight to these, even the larger one without all of the inserts. Super cool. Love, love the design here of the little slide and coming out with the little inserts and the pop out trash tray. I think that's really cool. I think that's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Don't forget, I will be posting links down below to all of these, so make sure you check them out. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.